नमस्कृ्य शब्दमंजरिया आवश्यकता अधिकृत्य किंचित वक्तुकामाह किमर्थम अस्मा शब्दमंजरी अधीयते किमर्थम वा संस्कृत विद्यार्थी शब्दी कंठस्थीक्रियंते अवश्य अस्म ज्ञात तदिकदानी आंग्लभाषायां सर्वेशां सुलभावगमनाय वक्तुकामाह नमस्ते दिस इज एन इंट्रोडक्टरी वीडियो क्लिप दट विल एक्सप्लेन टू यू द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द शब्द मंजुरी एंड व्हाई इट इज दट स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ संस्कृत आर एनकरेज टू मेमोराइज शब्द रूपास फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इट नीड्स टू बी बोर्न इन माइंड दैट संस्कृत इज एन इन्फ्लेक्शनल लैंग्वेज and is therefore very difficult to master an inflectional language without going into too much technicality is a language in which changes within words different forms of words is not perceptible to the untrained eye for instance if i were to say udbhutah anubhavah babhuva bhavati they all arise from the same root now for someone who doesn't know sanskrit vyakaranam this is not a detail that is either relevant or is perceptible the the crux here being it is not relevant in order to be able to learn the language to appreciate the language and to speak the language one does not have to understand where words arise from but the flip side of this being this particular language is also difficult to master that's the reason why we have a lot of memorization that goes into sanskritam where you given templates be the, be these templates conjugational ones or nominal ones we have a lot of memorization to do this is to provide us with a template to help us understand how similar words are declined or conjugated conjugation for those who are not aware are verbal forms and declensions are nominal forms or noun forms the shabda manjari is a primary and very very important text that helps us understand nominal forms the shabda manjari is um, categorized based on two important details the first being the antam of a pratipadikam and the second being the lingam of the pratipadikam for instance the very first shabda is अकारात पुलिंग राम शब्द अकारात पुलिंग दि अंत और दि एंडिंग सिलबल ऑफ द प्रातिपदिक द प्रातिपदिक इज द नॉमिनल रूट इन दिस केस राम इट्स गिवन विद इन क्वोट्स ओवर दैट सो अकारात रा म द एंडिंग लेटर इज म विच इज स्प्लिट इन टू द सिलबल इम एंड अ सो दिस इज एन अकार अंत दैट विच हेज दि अकार or the vowel a at its end so akarantah and this is a pullinga shabdah or a shabda that is in the masculine gender so akarantah pullinga rama shabdah very well now why are we learning the rama shabdah okay now i know the pratipadikam rama but how do i know how to use this pratipadikam in say the tritiya vibhakti ramena how do i know the form so once i have memorized the shabda manjari's template of the rama shabda i know the tritiya ekavachanam is ramena the saptami ekavachanam is rame and the sambodhana prathama is he rama okay now what purpose does this serve me just learning the rama shabda okay i know how to use the rama shabda therein we have to understand that the rama shabda is a template it helps us learn not just the rama forms rather any form of any shabda that is an akarantah and pullingah so once i know the rama shabda i know how the hara shabda is supposed to sound and any other shabda that is in the pullinga and ends with the syllable a similarly now let's take the hari shabda ikarantah pullingah hari shabda okay now i know the hari shabda i also now know how any shabda in the pullinga with an ikaranta is going to sound so if i need to use the word say kabihi i know kabihi because i have learned the hari shabda kavina adbhutam kavyam virachyate i know tritiya ekavachana of 
of Kavihi is Kavina because I have learnt Harina. Therefore, learning the Shabda Manjari helps us master nominal forms. Again, we have to remember the nominal forms are categorized as per the Lingam and the Anta Shabda. The Anta, um, either it's a Halantam or a, or, or a Ajantam. In the case of an Ajantam, it is a vowel, the ending vowel. In case of a Halantam, it is an ending consonant. Then, the Shabda Manjari also has the special Shabdas where you have Akaranta Pullinga Shabda that most of us may not even have heard of. And then you have the Ukaranta Pullinga Shabda and stuff like that. Therefore, the Shabda Manjari is a primary text that absolutely has to be memorized in order to help us learn how to use Sanskrit as a language. I hope this was useful. Namaste.